This is gonna be the first of uh, what I'm gonna create a series of videos. The next few videos are gonna be about nutrition practices and uh, just covering different topics of nutrition because it's one of the most debated and confusing parts of the health and fitness industry. The reason that there's dozens of new diet books coming out every year is because always somebody is trying to sell their opinion on what a healthy diet is, whether it's for weight loss, performance, just being healthy. Uh, the fitness industry has never had a shortage of churning out the, the perfect diet. And obviously it's failed because if it had found the perfect diet, then we wouldn't need another 25 books coming out every year claiming that it has the magic bullet and the answer to all of our dietary questions. Now, it's very annoying from a, you know, a fitness person standpoint when you constantly are battling this you know, misinformation really of these diet gurus or whatever claiming that they know how everybody should eat, whether it's paleo, keto, uh, whatever, like whatever's gonna come out in the next few months, few years, they're really, to my opinion, overcomplicating something that shouldn't be that hard. And so it makes people more confused, makes them more anxious about how to eat because you're getting all this conflicting information. You know, one study comes out and says that carbohydrates are totally fine. Another study comes out and says carbohydrates are terrible. You should eat more fat. And the reason all of this stuff is confusing is because nutrition science is very inaccurate and it's not really, I think people rely on nutrition science a little too much and it again becomes very complicated and unnecessarily complicated. So I want to try and clear up some of that confusion and over the next few videos cover different nutrition topics and maybe like debunk some common myths out there. But uh, the first one I want to cover today is, is calorie counting necessary? Now, a lot of people, if you're trying to eat healthy, will start to be more conscientious of calories. How many calories are in this chicken sandwich? How many calories are in this bowl of ice cream? And that's useful. It can be useful information because it's definitely important to know generally how many calories are in this fast food meal. But it's not necessary to really count every single calorie that you put in your mouth meticulously. And there's a few reasons for that. One reason calorie counting, uh, the calorie count information is often inaccurate. And we've shown this to be anywhere between 20 to even 50, 60% off, whether that's a food label of something that you pick up in the grocery store or an item that you're getting off a menu, those calorie numbers are never gonna be right on target. They're really just an estimate. So if you are counting calories and say you have a 1200 calorie budget, you're not, you're probably, even if you're being meticulous and counting every single calorie that goes in your mouth, you're not really, it's not accurate information. The other reason it's not really important or re not necessary is because our bodies are complex. Everybody's metabolism and how they utilize the calories that they take in is pretty individual. Uh, your metabolism could be, you know, genetically unique. It could be unique because you might have an underlying health condition. It could be unique because you've already lost a lot of weight and there's something called adaptive thermogenesis, which is where your body actually becomes a little bit less efficient at metabolizing things. And so your metabolism was a little bit lower than what we would scientifically predict based on your weight and muscle mass and all the objective uh, measurements. Now, is calorie counting useful? Yes. Calorie counting can be useful as a tool to kind of self-assess generally how many calories you're eating in a day. Lots of people have used calorie counting successfully to manage their weight, lose weight. And so it's not something that is never effective. It can definitely be useful at a certain time. But again, over focusing on exactly how many carbs are you eating, exactly how many grams of protein. This is pretty much unnecessary and really the only people that should even be worried about this are people that are already very low body fat and maybe they're either performance athletes or they're in a very weight conscious sport like gymnastics or something, or they're like a fitness or figure competitor or a bodybuilder, somebody that you know their sport requires them to step on stage in their underwear and be judged. Those people, which is a very tiny percentage of the population, those people 
probably need to do some form of accurate calorie counting. For the other 97% of humanity, it's just a good idea to kind of understand how many nutrients you should have as far as protein, carbohydrates, and fat, but you don't need to read every single food label and then record every single gram of whatever you ate for the rest of your life. Again, it can be a useful tool over the short term, maybe two weeks to a month. You use it just so you can get a better idea of how much you're eating, but it's not something that is necessary uh, and it's definitely not something that you should feel you have to do to lose weight. Now, over the next few videos, I'll go a little bit more in depth on how maybe you can measure food a little bit easier so you don't have to break out the fitness app or write something down on paper and keep track forever because there are easier ways and I'll teach you over the next few videos. So calorie counting, useful but not necessary. That's it. Take care, y'all.